How's it guys? Welcome to my home studio. My name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos, art videos, recipes, crafts, DIYs, mixed media, happy meal and hauls, fountain pens and fountain pen ink. And sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video. So if any of those genres sound appealing to you, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. And without further ado, I have this gorgeous beauty, a new vintage fountain pen. And this is the Waterman 05125.5 pocket, 14 karat gold filled eyedropper, full flex with the medium nib fountain pen. I think POC is pocket because that's how it was advertised. Um, it has a screw, it's a screw cap eyedropper. And I said 14 karat gold filled overlay lined model, no engravings. The length of this is 13.2 cm um, centimeters, full flux, very responsive, 14 karat gold medium nib, made in the USA before 1917. Eyedropper filler works fine, almost perfect condition, almost no brassings, no dings or dents. Nice imprints. So that is how it is described. And let's take a look at it. Beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. So, undo it. Let's get a look at that nib. Okay. And now I decided that I'm not going to actually fill it up. It does post. It's too long for me in my personal um, taste. So I'll write with it unposted. Um, and as far as filling it up, it's eyedropper filling. So I'm just going to, instead of filling it up, use um, it as a dip pen. And I'm going to use this um, Jacques Urban Kyanite du Nepal, 1798. Look at that. Does that not say, hello, Summer? How's it? Um, and I am also going to just set this to music because I'm sure that you want to see how this pen writes. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side.
All right, so there you have it, really. It writes nice and wet, at least on the Hobonichi paper. Now, obviously, the Brodia pad that I used first here, it's um, a little bit of a drier experience, but it's still a wet ink. And the color is really pretty. I am partial to the Tomoe River paper, so. But I can appreciate the qualities of all three papers. And then, of course, I have my beautiful Leech Charm 1917 bullet journal. So, there's a little bit of bleeding and feathering on the page, as you can see there. Um, but I like the pen overall, and I got it off of eBay from Pengineers, who's the seller, and it, his description and the pen is just as he described it, so I appreciate that, because you just never know sometimes with other eBay sellers what you're going to get. Um, but I'm very pleased with this purchase and this pen. Now, I did not fill it up, but as you can see, it did say that you can, it's an eyedrop, eyedropper filler type, so, which is very easy. Um, but I just have so many pens inked up, so I decided to just dip, use, use it as a dip pen instead so it's a lovely pen i like it it's gold it's very quaint and it wrote really nicely as it were so, as you can see right here at the bottom it's still drying it's very nice and i wrote even quite a bit on the rodeo pad um just a Jane Austen quote from Letters. So that is what I wrote. But you can see it bled and it feathered all throughout there. So there is a vast difference depending on which paper you're using. So um, it looks really, really nice. Really, really nice on the Tomoe River paper. So, that, my friends, is it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. It's a quick little video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this new and latest, <laughs> my latest squeeze, as it were. And I've had this ink for quite some time. Um, I got them off... I got the whole collection when it was on sale. I waited um, because it's this ink is pretty pricey. It's like, I want to say $38 a bottle. So even on sale, I spent a good chunk of change on it. But these, it's one of my favorite brands. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. And look at that. It's stunning. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, that, my friends, is everything. If you liked what you saw, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel, and I wish you folks happy writing out there. Peace out.